Hey everybody, I'm back with even more Amico news. Earthworm Gym 4 officially canceled? Tommy Tellerico canceled? We're going to talk about that today. There's just so much news going on in the Amico sphere if you've been following this. So let me just take you back. Uh, January 16th, timeextension.com did an article called So What's Happening with Earthworm Gym 4. There was a programmer in the article who said that all that happened with the game was a bunch of them got together with Tommy Tellerico one day and they brainstormed. But other than that, their work really didn't start on the game ever. And we have another article from thegamer.com says Earthworm Jim 4 has reportedly been canceled. And this is based on a tweet from Out of Context Earthworm Jim on Twitter. Okay, this is an unofficial, uh, unaffiliated account, but they link to a Discord, the Jim Cord. That's an Earthworm Jim uh, Discord discussion that I'll talk about in just a minute. But on that Discord server, there was a user, Edward18, said, I saw a further comment on Jim 4 from Catherine. Earthworm Jim 4 was quietly dusted under the carpet and they hope no one would notice when you've been waiting for 25 years for something to happen, you notice, LOL. So either they didn't have the license to do it and Interplay slapped them on the wrist, worst case scenario, or everything went pear-shaped with the Miko and they decided to call it quits. I don't have the answers. I'm in the dark with anyone else. And this comes from a stream Catherine did. Now, stream, now uh, Catherine is an artist, an Earthworm Jim artist, who's worked with Doug Tenapple, I hope I said that name right, and Tommy Tellerico and, uh, in the past. All right. She's worked with both those guys. So she's in the know. And she's basically saying that it was quietly dusted under the rug. I am not going to give any further links to her stream or anything like that because she also in the same stream, she said that she doesn't like drama. She just feels bad because she was telling people how excited she was for Earthworm Gem 4, you know, kind of promoting it, saying, hey, look forward to this. And then nothing happened. Work didn't really start. And that's why she feels bad. And I can understand that. So Interplay, this all happened just yesterday, says Interplay looks forward to pursuing other opportunities for Jim. Isn't that interesting? So out of context said, strange question. Is this account hacked? And Interplay hasn't been very active. So this just happened. Not hacked, just responding to Earthworm Jim, rumors of Earthworm Jim 4 being canceled. So the game is canceled and they didn't respond to that. So it looks like Inter Interplay is saying, when they say other opportunities, they're basically saying, if you read in between the lines, the Intellivision Amico uh, port Earthworm Jim 4, which have a, hasn't even really started. If someone wants to make an Earthworm Jim 4 for the Switch or the PS4, you know, maybe a digital game, they would most likely have to start from scratch. There really isn't anything to work off of. Then over on the Intellivision underscore Amico subreddit, Gator Roos posted this, um, Frank Cefaldi, uh, I think I said his name right, uh, he said this, He this tweet from him, Tommy T told a developer friend of mine that the budget for Earthworm Jim 4 was less than 200k, so it's actually really sad news that we'll never get to see whatever this mess was going to be. And just to put it in context, Gatorus talks about how the B Bavarian gr grant for biplanes, which is a rather simple game, right, a couple planes flying around, it's not a deep game, was about 93,000 U.S., he says, for a simple single screen game, this was uh, far more than necessary. Yet, Frank says that Tommy's budget for Earthworm Jim 4, and who knows if that's accurate or not, potential system seller and larger, more involved game by magnitudes, and he's correct there, this was the biggest name game they had. So they were was only $200,000, only double that for biplanes, woefully inadequate. And that puts it in perspective. If you have a simple game um, and you have a game that's a lot more, should be, a bigger game, a lot more in depth, uh, only giving double what you would for a simple game doesn't seem like it would be enough, especially for a big name game like Earthworm Gym 4. So however you look at it, it almost seems like Earthworm Gym 4 was almost doomed from the start being on the a television Amico, and it looks like that it was canceled. So let's now talk about, is Tommy Tellerico canceled? So Tommy Back in April, he kind of went out of the spotlight when his dad passed away in late April, 25th of 2022. Understandable. Earlier, there was reports that he had been removed from his position at CEO, while some people say that it was voluntary. We'll get to that in a second. But after his dad passed away, you didn't really, really hear Tommy say anything about the Amico. But then in fall of 2022, he appears in backgammon 
Primetime Backgammon Magazine, which I didn't even know was a thing until the Intellivision underscore Miko subreddit. And he gave an interview, interview with Tommy Tellerico. So he's speaking about backgam- backgammon, but he's not speaking about the Amico. And then Salt Lake City, Utah, he goes out with Video Games Live and gives a concert there. So he's active. He's out and about with Video Games Live, but he won't talk about Amico. And then uh, Gamer City on Twitter posted a video just recently. This came from January 31st. Tommy Tellerico promoting himself, talking about Video Games Live coming to Chile. But he's not talking about Amico. And there's some other weird things, too. Like this is from the Amico Forever. I've covered this before. The Amico Forever stream where tweets that mention Tellerico in a positive light were being deleted. Amico will be the best console ever. Tellerico rules. So if you watch this, it goes away. And then there was another tweet. Let me see if it pops up here. Here it is. It says, how did Tommy Tellerico's latest concert go? That's positive news. And that was deleted. So why is Tommy being canceled? Why are mentioned? And by the way, on this, on this, uh, you know, YouTube podcasting, John Elvarado, who's a executive with the company, he's a moderator in the chat. I'm not saying he's the one who deleted this, but it seems odd that they, they would delete and not mention Tommy anymore when he's out and about and he's public again, but he's not talking about the Amico that, that leads me to one of two theories personally, and you could share yours. One is that, you know, he's, he sees the writing on the wall and he's just trying to distance himself from the Intellivision Amico, trying to, you know, not be associated with it anymore, even though he is the CEO. Now he, he's not the majority shareholder. Uh, the start engine campaign, the SEC documents show that he wasn't a majority shareholder. So it's also possible that he was canceled, that he was removed, not by choice of his own. And that people who controlled the purse strings over in the Intellivision Amico sphere, they spread the word. You can't, Tommy, you're not allowed to talk about the Amico anymore. You're hurting the brand. We're going to do everything we can. Just speculation for entertainment purposes. But it just, it kind of fits in my mind that perhaps he was canceled, that they have blacklisted him. That like Earthworm Jim 4 quietly dusted under the rug because this is a guy who loved to talk about the Amico and he would be on shows with YouTubers who didn't even have a thousand subscribers. And he would give hour long, hour, two hour long, three hour long interviews with these people. And he loved to interact with people on Atari age. He was, so for him to go from like 120 miles per hour to zero slamming on the brakes, it seems kind of odd that a guy who's willing to talk about backgammon and willing to talk about video games live has been for almost a year has been quiet about the thing he has started the Intellivision Amico. Has he been muzzled? Has he been canceled? Are they telling the people on the, on their, the YouTube, on the Amico show, don't even allow Tommy Tellerico to come up in conversation. I don't get it. That's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next time.